What is up you guys? I'm coming at you today from a random field I found while off-roading and while off-roading I decided that I needed to make a video on the Honda Trail 125 and the things I like most about this bike. So today's video I'm gonna dig into the top five reasons you should be considering a Honda Trail 125. Okay, the Honda Trail 125. We're gonna get into it today. Like I said, there's five reasons I think this motorcycle is really, really amazing and really worth your attention. And I'm just gonna get straight into it with number one, which is, it is quiet. I know a lot of times you wanna throw a, a loud exhaust on your bike, you like that loud exhaust, you like that two-stroke brap, you like whatever it is, uh, whether it's a triple, like motorcycles sound cool and when they're loud it's kind of fun um, some people subscribe to the whole loud pipes save lives thing but research will show that that's not actually true loud pipes just annoy your neighbors sadly but surely they make you happy but they just annoy your neighbors they're not making you any safer in reality um, there is research to show that hitting your horn is just as effective as your motorcycle being loud. They can't, they can't hear you. The best you're gonna get from a loud motorcycle is being able to use your throttle as like a horn, just to be able to like to blip the throttle a little bit, get their attention, but it's not actually making you any safer to be loud. The fact remains, cars are really quiet now. They're getting quieter and quieter. And if you're in their blind spot, they just don't know you're there, whether you're loud or quiet. So you gotta kind of be on your P's and Q's and you need to be aware of the situation and be ready to hit that horn if you need to. Um, but there's a lot of merit to a quiet motorcycle. Right now, I am just in some random public, like football, soccer field. I had both football and soccer field that I found. I was riding around in some little trails and I popped out here and decided this is a good place to make a video. Um, and I'm just in here. There's people walking their dogs, there's people playing catch, and I'm not bothering anybody. And this motorcycle is running right now. This motorcycle is absolutely running. I don't know if you can even hear it at all. It's just not very loud. It's super quiet. It's unintimidating. You can really get your exploration on. You can hit up little trails, little nooks and crannies of your city. You can really explore without causing much attention to yourself. And if you have to leave home early in the morning or you have to get home late at night, you're not gonna be pissing off your neighbors. Nobody wants to be that neighbor. The older I get, the more I realize that it's just a huge perk to have a quiet motorcycle. So that is the number one reason the Honda Trail 125 is a really good purchase to me. Number two, number two reason I love the Honda Trail 125 is the fuel economy. This bike, for me at least, at I'm about 200 pounds and uh, I don't know, 5'11", I'm riding this bike wide open all the time on trails, on like surface streets, whatever, about 50 miles an hour is usually what I'm doing. I am getting 110 miles per gallon, which is incredible, especially in these times where gas is really expensive and everybody's like struggling just a little bit more than they're used to. This is an amazing value for money when it comes to fuel. Um, I don't really have to worry about the gas prices because I'm getting so much fuel economy. I've had this bike for, I'm approaching 200 miles and I've only filled it up once. It is great. I love this motorcycle. Um, the fuel economy is super, super good. It just really is. Like if you want to ride around all day for your work commute or all week long for your work commute, if you want to go on a long trip, you want to hit the trails all weekend long, you're not going to have to worry about gas. You're not going to have to worry about it being expensive. That is just a major perk of this motorcycle. Number three. The third reason I think this bike is such a good deal and really worth your attention is how well equipped it comes from the factory for doing what its name entails. If you wanna take this bike down some trails, they are really setting you up with a really good package here. It is not just like an appearance package. They really got you set up good to go for the trails. And I'm just gonna kinda of walk you through some of the parts that make it so much easier. Um, for one, the center stand. You always want a center stand if you can get one. It's a really, really great option. Tall exhaust, tall exhaust that I'm touching right now because that is a heat guard. This exhaust is great for off-roading and it's great for just general looks you know not only does it look awesome but it really does do the part um, you got your soft turn signals here so you're not gonna break anything if you drop the bike those are front and rear that's really good um, you got a skid plate from the factory right there um, if a rock pops up you have to bop over something you're not gonna crush your head you're not gonna crush any tubing or anything your exhaust isn't gonna get all banged up the skid plate is right there where you need it and it is attached to engine crash bars which are great uh, the more protection the better especially from the factory I love it 
You got your spoked wheels, which I personally like a mag wheel off-road, but you gotta admit, spoked wheels are better. They flex, they kind of give way when you need them to. That way you're not breaking wheels, cracking wheels. They are better off-road and this bike comes equipped with them. It's just another one of the many, many things that this bike comes with from the factory that they didn't have to do that. They could have just thrown on one of those items thrown the sticker on the side and then put everything available or made everything else available on the aftermarket but you got almost everything you need to go off-road from the factory they even gave you a tall breather like the old bike so that if you do get some water up in there your intake isn't sucking in water and ruining your engine everything was just really well thought out to get you off-road the only thing that's missing in my opinion is some hand guards you really want some hand guards if you're gonna go off-road, not necessarily on this side because you don't have a clutch lever, but on this side, when you're going through the brush, something could hit your brake lever and go ahead and slow you down. I had that happen to me once where um, a branch hit the brake lever, so it made me stop suddenly, and then impulsively it like slingshotted back and I got on the throttle and I just like rocketed off into the side. Um, luckily I went off into the distance and it was perfectly safe, but you could get yourself into some trouble. You wanna get some hand guards, plus it's also nice not to have to worry about anything hitting you in the knuckles. So that's something I plan to add, but otherwise you're good to go. Number four. <laughs> the fourth reason I love this motorcycle is the looks. They knocked it out the park. A lot of times you see these um, these recreations of old vehicles, a re-launch or whatever, a redesign, um, like things like the, let's say the Blazer for instance. The Chevy Blazer that we have today is nothing like the Chevy Blazer of yesteryear. They just rode the coattail of that name to kind of get some sales going, you know? Um, same thing with the Dodge Dart, and honestly, the Mustang Mach-E. That's not a Mustang, but this, tried and true, is a Honda Trail. What they did here was they took that classic bike and they just updated it for current times. They give you the tech that you expect. You got fuel injects in, you got some good information on your, uh, your gauge cluster there. You've got, like, everything you really need to kind of bring a classic design to the modern world. They did a great job on it with this bike. It's not just taking a Super Cub and throwing trail on the side to get your money. This is a complete relaunch of the classic trail and it's everything you could imagine. It is so, so, so hot. So, so hot. But you know what else is hot? The deal you get on the Honda CT125, Trail 125. My last reason why you should really consider this bike is the price. This bike locally, and I think everywhere, has an MSRP of $3,800. For me, my dealer threw on all the tax, title tag, docking, all those fees that they're gonna hit you with, and I was out the door at $5,100, which still, to me, is a really, really great deal for what you get. What you're getting here is a bike that is gonna give you great fuel economy, like I said. It's super well equipped. It's super reliable. It's gonna do everything you could need a bike to do around town, and it's gonna really take you on some epic off-road journeys. This bike will take you anywhere off-road that your riding ability will let you go. Honestly, you're not gonna do it like rocket ship fast, like a trials bike or anything. You're not gonna go like doing anything super gnarly, but anywhere you need to go, I fully believe this bike can get you there with its combination of features. Like any trail, I challenge you to show me a trail that this bike can't make it down because I've done some inc incredibly steep hill climbs. I've done some water crossings. I've bopped over logs. I've done tight like single track stuff. This bike will do it if you are brave enough. And just for that, I think you just can't beat it. You can't beat it for the money. Um, there's some alternatives out there, like there's the CRF 250s and 230s. Um, like the CRF 230L is probably the one that like is like the closest competitor to me. And I honestly think this is a better buy. I really do. Um, you got some classic styling. You got just overall more utility than that bike. This rack is like crucial. Like all of my stuff is just piled on it right now. Um, and the bike is so butter smooth that like, I don't have to worry about that falling off. This is just great. It's so approachable. The semi-automatic makes it really nice so you can really dig through the gears, but you don't have to worry about clutching when you're kind of in the weeds. For $5,000, I argue there's not a better buy, honestly. Really like, if your goal is to ride around town and your goal is to maybe explore in the woods, nothing on the new market is getting you a better bike than this for $5,000. Like, you just, just can't. All the competitors are either more money or not as good. And that's my opinion, but I'm sticking to it. This is the best you can get, and I think you should run out and get one now. I feel like I keep complaining about it being hot, but is this proof? Like, dude, I am melting. I am melting for you. <laughs> I hope you appreciate it. But that's it. 
that is my top five reasons you should run out and buy a Honda Trail 125. I have been loving this motorcycle for the few weeks that I've had it, and I'm really, really stoked to have it for as long as physically possible. I honestly, wholeheartedly right now, with all the bikes I have, the cars, I think this is gonna outlast everything I have because it's just that good. Um, if you have any questions about this bike or you want anything specific mentioned in a video, just drop it down in the comments below. I really appreciate when you guys give me uh, video ideas, or you give me feedback on things that you want to see or hear. Um, I take all that in consideration and I will try to make videos about anything that you are curious about. So make sure you drop those comments below. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit subscribe. I really appreciate every single subscription I get. The number is climbing slowly but surely and it's making me super happy. Um, yeah, I just appreciate you guys. I hope you have a really good day. I will see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>